First reading, a reading from the book of Acts, chapter 12, verse 1 to 11. About this time, King Herod began to persecute some members of the church. He had James, the brother of John, put to death by the sword. When he saw that this pleased the Jews, he went ahead and had Peter arrested. This happened during the time of the festival of unleavened bread. After his arrest, Peter was put in jail, where he was handed over to be guarded by four groups of four soldiers each. Herod planned to put him on trial in public after Passover. So Peter was kept in jail, but the people of the church were praying earnestly to God for him. The night before Herod was going to bring him out to the people, Peter was sleeping between two guards. He was tied with two chains, and there were guards on duty at the prison gate. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord stood there, and a light shone in the cell. The angel shook Peter by the shoulder, woke him up and said, Hurry, get up. At once the chains fell off Peter's hands. Then the angel said, Tighten your belt and put on your sandals. Peter did so, and the angel said, Put your cloak around you and come with me. Peter followed him out of the prison, not knowing, however, if what the angel was doing was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed by the first guard station and then the second and came at last to the iron gate that opens into the city. The gate opened for them by itself and they went out. They walked down a street and suddenly the angel left Peter. Then Peter realized what had happened to him and said, Now I know that it is really true. The Lord sent his angel to rescue me from Herod's power and from everything the Jewish people expected to happen. The Word of the Lord Second Reading A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy Chapter 4, verses 6 to 8 and 17 to 18. As for me, the hour has come for me to be sacrificed. The time is here for me to live this life. I have done my best in the race. I have run the full distance, and I have kept the faith. And now there is waiting for me the victory prize of being put right with God, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day, and not only to me, but all to those who wait with love for him to appear. But the Lord stayed with me and gave me strength, so that I was able to proclaim the full message for all the Gentiles to hear, and I was rescued from being sentenced to death, and the Lord will rescue me from all evil and take me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. On this solemnity of St. Peter and Paul, we will meditate just on St. Peter. Because St. Peter in the eyes of man was a failure, but in the eyes of God, he was a great man. The Holy Gospel of our Lord according to St. Matthew. Jesus went to the territory near the town of Caesarea Philippi, where he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? Some say John the Baptist, they answered. Others say Elijah, while others say Jeremiah or some other prophet. 
What about you? He asked them. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Good for you, Simon, son of John, answered Jesus. For this truth did not come to you from any human being, but it was given to you directly by my Father in heaven. And so I tell you, Peter, you are a rock. And on this rock foundation I will build my church, and not even death will ever be able to overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. What you prohibit on earth will be prohibited in heaven, and what you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. I remember walking into St. Peter's Basilica and seeing the grandeur of the, that building. It's a huge, massive building. And then we went down into the crypts and then we celebrated Mass at the crypt of on the tomb of St. Peter. It was very emotional because this was the first leader of the church appointed by Jesus Christ himself. And we are right there. But then it came to me thinking, uh, meditating on St. Peter's life. I saw that St. Peter was a failure. He failed in many things. He failed to follow Jesus. He himself, as Jesus uh, told him that he's going to reject Jesus, Peter rejected him three times during Jesus' crucifixion. And he just was a failure. And if anything that he said, it was not from him, but it was from the Father. As we heard in today's Gospel, it was the Father in heaven that gave St. Peter this inspiration to say that Jesus is the Messiah. But that is in the eyes of us, eyes of man, who when we read scripture, when we look at St. Peter, what we see. But Jesus saw something greater in St. Peter. And he saw that this man can go to the highest place in the, in the church, although he looks as if he's a failure. And when we look at his failings, we see that St. Peter even couldn't, as a good fisherman, he couldn't even catch fish. But with Christ, he could have done marvelous things. And this is what we need to meditate today. As we look at our own lives, we need to see that when we look at our own lives in our own eyes, or how people look at us, we would always see a failure. We would always see someone who is always falling short in life. Today we celebrate also the feast of St. Paul. And when we look at Paul's life, he was a sinner. He killed Christians. He persecuted Christians. But God turned all of that. And this is what he will do to our lives also. As we look at ourselves as failures or people look at us as failures, in the eyes of God, we are greatness itself. Because he, he created us to be greatness. He created us to be perfect. And if we believe in the Lord, and we believe that He is with us, as we will meditate during this week, we will see that we are truly great. Sri Vachanaya.